We've got the office removed and most of the 1970s extension at the back of the bungalow. So we're stacking those in this pile which we expect to continue to grow. The first job is to move these machines out of the way and then move this pile of bricks to our store. We're continuing to move materials, that's um, the facing stone that we want to reuse and the bricks that we also expect to need to put in our gabions. Slight change of plan. So I've picked up quite a lot of these bricks, but I've decided to focus on these bricks here on the edge of the house because they're um, easy to remove and the mortar's very soft. So we get those. We'll peel them off. That's quite satisfying and easy to do. So first, let me show you the stack. So this is the stack. Unfortunately, I caught it with the bug hit as I was driving off and I've pulled it half of it down. So I'm going to rebuild that and then we're going to get some more bricks. So the story today is we're going to be harvesting some of these bricks, which although they've got paint on them, the mortar's pretty soft and uh, so they'll be very easy to get out and, um, and be nice bricks, easy to stack. Um, the reason the mortar is so soft is said to be down to Paula's sister Carol, who when she was quite young was tasked with the job of mixing the cement for her dad, building some of these walls. I don't know, I don't think that's the whole story, but that's what we're saying. Harold made the mortar very soft. Right then, let's get on with it.
more curious things found about reuse of materials. So this extension was built in 1971 and just pulled down the inside bit of the wall here and the blocks that were used were second hand. Well, they were used but only on one side. So this, who knows where this came from? Somebody else's paint, plaster and wallpaper. And now this corner always tended to be a bit damp and I'm just wondering whether that might be because it's got this brick wall here that goes right through to the outside um, so it bridges the cavity and although the cavity in the original part of the house looks like a reasonable size the cavity in this extension bit is very very minimal and look, there's a slate wedge down in it and some mortar so doesn't look like the best cavity in the world. Maybe in 1971 people weren't completely convinced that cavities were a good idea.